talking about my work and my contribution to the networking technology. I actually I worked on two parts. One is the computer architecture, maybe 20 years. And then afterwards, I working on the networking technology. My contributions are including the introducing the internet to China. We have finished the first international connection for our network to the United States. And then we have set up our domain name systems. Now we're talking about the challenges for interconnecting the network to the, to the world. Uh, quite a lot. Firstly, it's the technology. At that time, we don't have much more, uh, many people knowing about the internet and its, its technology. And also, we, we need, we have DECnet and uh, X.25 networking there, but we have to uh, make those networks being connected to the internet also. So there are protocol ch translation job we have to, to do. So it's very difficult for us. And the second, the, the, we made the policy issue in China. Because uh, the, the communication policy in China is very, rather conservative. At that time, they don't allow people to share a, a, a link. When we uh, uh, rent a link, then we can use by our own self, not shared by other people. But for the networking, we have to connect many universities and research institutes in our area. So they don't allow it. So this is a policy obstacles. And also we have device obstacles. At that time, Cisco routers are not allowed to export it to China, so we had to overcome them. And also, we have some political <laughs> obstacles, because at that time, people told us uh, in the US, government department and the military department are connected to the internet. So it, they cannot allow us immediately connect to them. So they, those are challenges at that time. We got a lot of help from other countries, especially from the U.S. We, we participated in many ISAC meetings, INET 92 and INET 93 and later. So we, we talked to people in, in the States and also the officials from the NSF. Many people are supporting us to be connected to the internet. And especially, uh, we have an old friend in the UMKC, University of Missouri, Kansas City, a dean of the communication department. He helped us to talk to other people because we, we don't know many people. He introduced us to. And also, uh, on person from South Korea, Kim Chang. He helped us quite a lot. And my government supported us. Uh, Madam Hu, who was the inductee of the Internet Hall of Fame last year, she is responsible for this. Uh, she was my boss. She is the deputy director of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and responsible for our work. So he, she helped quite a lot. First time China was connected to the internet is uh, on the 20th April, 1994. At that time, because we are the academic network, so we connect to the NSF backbone, which is supported by NSF. And most of the, the universities are connected to the backbone. So that's the first time. Talking about the, the networking uh, job uh, meant to me personally, I'd, I think it's rather to talk about what does it mean to my country. Because so many people, I enjoyed the networking technology. Mm -hmm.